I'm still got the star screen on for you, man. Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to the first joint live stream on Wardle Road. That I think, hopefully, fingers crossed, will actually work now. <laughs> um, as you can see, I am joined by Underground Eric, also known as Harefield Road. Um, Hi. How far behind did you say we was roughly? Like 30 seconds? So we'll just let the chat... Um, someone said I hear voices. And then we'll get the hellos out of the way and then we'll uh, get on with uh, tonight's show. Something like 30 seconds ish, yeah. It's a pain though, because I'll chat to you and then uh, nothing will happen. <laughs> so it really puts you off, doesn't it? Yeah. What's the uh, picture like, guys, and the audio like? If you can give us a, a 5 out of 5. <clears throat> 5 out of 5. What, 5 oh, times what? 5, sorry. 5 times 5. What's the levels like as well? Is Eric too loud or am I too quiet? Or the other way around? You're always too loud, mate. Yeah, well, we know that, but... <laughs> oh, we're back to 37. We're back to 37. Hello, everybody. Um, if, it up. if anyone could uh, share the stream on Facebook, because obviously I just had to stop the other one due to technical issues, just let someone, anyone know that we, uh, we're we back on a new stream. It hasn't just uh, finished. Problems with internet providing. The only way we could get it to work was to restart the stream. Like, this only way I knew it. I wasn't going to sit and faff around for... <laughs> Faff around for ages. Um, we'll get some trains moving in a minute at the moment as well. Uh, I think that's what people want to see, isn't it? Not no. us talking rubbish. They just want to look at this blank, this blank track, and uh, <laughs> actually, we'll turn it on to start with, so you can get some. Uh... It, it, oh, it's so weird, isn't it, with the delay in that? Because obviously, people talk, oh. but that's not thirty seconds ago. Yeah. Someone's actually commenting in the comment section, so if anyone could go to the comment section and let them know there's a live chat at the moment. <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> oh, we've got 39 in the house. Uh, hello, everybody, for joining us this evening. Anyone who's just tuned in, there's two of us here tonight. Double trouble. Double um, trouble. We are here to report. We're here, we're here to... We need dodgy goings on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, guys, if you are you are about to enjoy the stream, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I've got a couple of giveaways tonight as well. Um, not the Flying Scotsman, that's till, that's not till February. But um, yeah, we've got a couple of bits, including some of these uh, lovely train spotters. If your granddad has driven the Flying Scotsman, this could be the one for you. <laughs> if your granddad Everyone's a granddad has driven it, so it's fine. The one for you. <laughs> right, let's get the hellos out of the way. I'm just going to quickly skim through everybody that I can see here. <coughs> Alfie Wells, Carl Braun, Gareth, Archie, Denegal Dad, Fred Rails, Cameron, David Cook, uh, Tim, West London Railway, Ed, Richard, uh, Lee, Pete, Mark, Angels, Jackie, Josh, Steve, David, Samuel, Stephen Price, um, Oh god, it's going too quickly again. I hate, I hate it when this. I don't want to put it on slow mode though, because then we'll get stuck with like one comment like every minute. But um, uh, up well and onwards. Good evening, mate. Hope everybody is doing well. How many? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna run some trains or what? Yeah, I just thought I'd let let the crowd gather, let the uh, excitement build up. They ever come in and look at my face? Yeah, they have. Well, maybe they, maybe they, they have. have. That's why you're in the title, mate. Got to get that, get that clickbait in. Depends what you're into, don't I it? I also asked on Instagram as well. Oh, Gareth with the £5. 
Thanks, Gareth. Yeah, it is happy birthday to me. Oh, Getting yeah, old. shit. Oh, pardon my language. Hey, just, just demonetized. <laughs> Took him five minutes. <laughs> it is Eric's birthday, so if everyone could wish him a 40th, happy, happy 40th birthday. <laughs> happy 40th. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, if you could let Eric have a... Uh, let Eric have, have a happy birthday. Wish Eric a happy birthday. Is that How does it 16, feel to be 40? I, w- I wouldn't know. Uh, and is it happy birthday? It is happy birthday, Eric, and it's not 16. Sing- Look, I'm, just, I'm staying monetized. I'm drinking a can of tango. <laughs> Hello, more. No advertising here. Railway Andy. Penny Hill, good evening. Digger, good evening, mate. J94. Oh, well, those people in. I know. They're, 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 it is J94, the person with no name. I think it's the clickbait of um, Eric being in the title. What's, what is J94's actual name? Kieran, I believe. Is Sorry it? Sorry if I'm wrong, Kieran. Because he pops up in, every, in pretty much every stream, yeah, but I don't know he, what his he, real name he, is. He does, he does the rounds, for sure. Chris, good evening. Tim JD, good evening. Great to see you here. What happened? Uh, technical issue, long story short. Cheers for the happy birthdays, everyone. Very kind. Oh, yeah, just... See, because it's 30 seconds behind now, we're just going to have happy birthdays for yeah. five minutes. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> you know when you've been tangoed. <laughs> <laughs> Gareth, thank you very much, though, for the super chat. We'll give the... Uh, we'll bring the... Uh, uh, animation up again. Just because I'm so pleased we're making the uh, London Underground emote. J94 is Kieran. Cheers, mate. Thanks for confirming that. He's always about, so it's good to know. <laughs> Happy 50th. Right, that's you, Ban. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get some. Oh, yeah, so if anyone follows me on Instagram, I asked on, on there for some topics for tonight's uh, chat. Holly, um, they all think I'm 40 now. <laughs> it's not actually 40. Oh, God. I've got 11 years to go yet. <laughs> I don't look a day over 21. <laughs> I'm not going to read out. <laughs> uh, Ross, I'm, I can't read that out, sorry. What's Ross saying in the chat? Um, you know, what was that? No, it was, in, it was on Instagram reply. I can't I can't say that without getting... Oh, honest, so. <laughs> there's, there's me looking through WhatsApp. Thinking, um, uh, someone's being rude. Ellswick Wharf Model Railway. Thank you very much for sharing. That looks like a new name. Don't forget to subscribe. Actually, we've had a few uh, new subscribers before the stream started and a new member as well. It's an unusual name for a railway. Where did you get that from? Elswick Wharf. It's like Canary Wharf. Uh, probably not. Yeah, something different. <laughs> Cheers, Lee. Are you not 40? No, Ross. You know, what, how, you know full well how old I am. You've got a few years on me, mate. <laughs> dear, oh dear. What are you doing, Ollie? You've got some ch- stuff running yet? Yeah, no, I've, tr- I've just started. Oh, Ro- oh, Ross is in as well. Hello, Ross. Thank you. AGR's in as well. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> Ant's in there. Yes, the so AGR plug. I'm going to run some trains tonight, but uh, as I mentioned to Eric before, I'm actually going to be doing some work and in continuing installing the cable runs as well towards those uh, relay cabinets. Uh, We're going to do them on the stream. Yeah, it's all part of the. Fun. Oh, that's going to be that's going to be so interesting. <laughs> Better than sitting watching the same uh, shot for the next. Uh, hour or so. Uh, scenery is great yeah. enough to say. Thank you very much, DWR, and thank you very much for tuning in. <laughs> uh, What's everyone saying then? Kev, good evening, mate. Thank you for tuning in. Leslie. Uh, <laughs> Ross. <laughs> dear me. <laughs> what does everyone think of the back scene? Oh, wait. Have you... uh, Ollie was having a little stress about it earlier. You wouldn't oh, listen that to us. I, I, I thought you meant your screen back scene, but I remember you. Tra- <laughs> oh, we. We can, uh, we can David, play back, backgrounds if you want. Do you want to play backgrounds, Ollie? I can't do green screen on, on this at the moment, unfortunately. Are we playing backgrounds then? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, as Eric says, uh, on the topic of backgrounds, um, what do you think of my uh, Gage Master band? <laughs> Hello, James Sucks is live. Thank you for tuning in. Um, what do you think of my new Gauge Master back scene that I've got along there? I uh, installed that today. It actually works quite well, doesn't it? Yeah, it didn't. I, well, as I say, when it first went on, it was horrendous. It looked like a, it looked like a, a train crash. But um, watch, look- watch Twitter go mad at my background. <laughs> They're going to be making new groups and everything. Thank you very much, uh, Upwell and onwards. Uh, back scene looks good. It blend- yeah, it does, Kev. It does actually. You're very right. It does blend in very nicely. What I'll do is actually I'll switch the view in a minute to. Um, looking down towards the station as well, because that's quite a nice view we've got earlier. So at the moment, I've got the 108 running around, and I'm going to get the uh, Panio running and the Ruston running as well. We're live. 
We're live from the West Coast main line. <laughs> we are yeah. bringing you the news. Alan Reynolds, the latest evening, updates. Uh, yeah, the latest updates up. on these three nineties. If you guys are enjoying, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Love the uh, Samuel. Thank you. For, there's a lot of new people in tonight. I don't know who shared the stream, but um, thank you, whoever it was. Great Is to he see busy? All the new faces in here tonight. Penny Hill Junction. Uh, not me, mate. <laughs> You've been up. <laughs> uh, I've been time traveling, and I time traveling so that I can call people um, in. Samuel, why can't you have a back uh, back scene? I was I was a bit skeptical to start with about doing it, but now I've done it. Very very pleased. Yeah, it does look good. Cameron have got another two running now. They're just coming around a bit slowly, especially the rusted. It's got a max speed of like five mile an hour. So that little rusted whole thing. Oh wait, it's brilliant. Actually, right, let's get on to talking of rusted. Sorry, um, we've got a list of topics that people have sent in. Um, some less explicit than others. <laughs> uh, so Fred's Rails asked us to discuss the well the new Hornby releases and especially the Rustin 88DS so uh, <laughs> I've just seen your back um, so as uh, oh Lee shared it thank you very much Lee uh, <laughs> Fred, well, because of what's going on at the moment, mate, uh, I haven't actually seen my parents for probably over a month now uh, with the lockdown and stuff. So, anyway, for now, the, the, this vaccine's doing the job, so we'll leave it as that. Um, yeah, the ATA Medway Peninsula. Medway Peninsula. My thumb is now erect. Well, my thumb. Is it now? <laughs> yeah, hit the thumbs up, guys, if you're enjoying. Uh, Cameron says, just making sure you're working, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised that the comments are all uh, frozen on me, so I wonder why no one was talking. So coming into the shot at the moment is the uh, Rustin 48DS, and it has been, as you would have seen in my previous video, um, it's had some work done on it by Alan. I don't know if Alan's, Alan's probably busy, actually. He's never in this chat, so uh, if you're watching... Yeah, Alan, you'd be surprised, mate. He does pop in. Is he, lurk is he one of the lurkers in the background? <laughs> yeah, he, he pops up on mine every now and again. I'm sure he watches yours. Yeah, well... Alan, if you're in here, thank you very much. You uh, you know what you've done to that logo is absolutely brilliant. And hopefully when the 88DS comes out, it'll have the same treatment. I've left him with a, a list of locos to do at the moment. He's got an 08 that needs um, stair life fitting. Uh, he's got a J15 that's going to get sound fitted. Yeah, that guy... He's always busy, isn't he? Yeah, no, I haven't given that guy a minute's rest. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Jib... I'll tell you what, there's some new names in here. I, I can't... Mr. Jib... Mr. Gibbard. I'm sorry if I've just butchered your name. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to the... This is the problem when there's so many names. You start. When will we see more progress on the 5-inch Class 25? Well, when we're allowed out, to be fair. Me and Eric were actually discussing uh, getting back to the railway, hopefully, after this after this lockdown, weren't we? Yeah. Eager. Eager. I need to get my new riding truck or friend. Ant's working on I'm that good. as well, isn't it? Well, he's working on a wagon for you at the moment. Yeah. Ant's got my... Um, so I didn't show it in any videos, but I got a GWR towed brake van. If that's what you're going to call it. a bit of a latch-up <laughs> job from someone. It's basically someone's uh, got a riding truck chassis and Even then David. has butchered a brake van onto it. That <laughs> costs more. <laughs> we done, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, so Ant Anthony from AGR is working on that with his granddad, which is quite nice. A little project for them to keep him busy. And uh, I have got a proper riding truck at Rent Railway, which we usually visit, which is waiting for me. So that'd be nice to, to get hold of. Yeah, it's a, a bit of a bummer, really, because this whole uh, these whole lockdowns have just stopped it and then delayed it and delayed it and delayed it, and we're just all the way into yeah. the, all the way into the new year, and, we're, and we haven't had a chance to go out on it. I can only enjoy the stream like it's radio as I'm at work. Sorry to hear that, mate. But, Sorry uh, to just listen to our voices. You're satisfied with my romantic voice. <laughs> yeah, bad enough seeing us having to. Yeah, imagine having to actually look at our faces. <laughs> right, turtle moves. Turtle underscore moves asks us to discuss that. Ah asks us to discuss new independent model, model train manufacturers like Revolution and Acura Scale. Yeah. Oh, you oh you did that thing on Instagram, didn't you? Yeah. So I've got about? some top here. I'm just, I'm just making it up, believe it or not. <laughs> Course more Dave. Actually, this is a brand new hat I've got today. Just doing don't, a little for you. Don't forget, guys, it is Eric's birthday, so drop the uh, happy birthday in the chat. Um, I'd up to see Eric his hats. What was you wanting to discuss? A Curascale? Yeah, a Curascale. Well, 
Uh, actually, you would have seen it in the recent video. I've, I, I took some shots, some running shots actually, of your new Acura scale wagons. Mine. which I actually... Acura scale wagons that I borrowed off Anthony to review and then just never gave back yeah. and then never did a review for. <laughs> and then ended up getting him in trouble with Acura scale. Yeah, they could, they could be the ones. <laughs> they could be the ones. But no, I, th I, th um, I think they're absolutely brilliant. I mean, a secure, a curious scale oh, I think they're the uh, high end of the market, uh, price wise. Yeah. But absolutely. Their products are here. incredible. The uh, the only thing is, it did did hack me off a little bit because all I was doing is making a simple suggestion, which I thought was a good idea because. Oh, about the packaging. I didn't... Yeah, it was just about the packaging because you can't see what you're buying. Their other earlier products, you can basically put the box inside out and display the wagons on a shelf. Yeah. Whereas the new tip of the wagons, you can't really do that because they're all uh, covered up and stuff. So I basically went in the uh, went in and shop, and I didn't even realise they were there. To be honest, I, I had to ask him for them. And then we were hunting around trying to find the livery I wanted. Yeah, well, yeah. When, when I went in there, he had to he had to pull it up on the computer and physically scroll through yeah. the liveries because I, I don't know all the liveries by name. So yeah, get like, get them out. It's a mission. <laughs> But it was, it was just, uh, that was my only little thing that I had with them. Other than that, they're absolutely beautiful, but it was just packaging. I, I thought, why not have a little window or something? It'd be nice. It's just as a suggestion. And it Jack, didn't seem to... Jackie says, Eric, you only look about 26. Oh, thank you. Uh, you're going on my Christmas list. <laughs> I'm, 20, I'm 29 today. Jesus. Ollie's about 13. Yeah. I've, I've, I've sadly, I've outlived my childhood yeah. as well. Um. I'm, ca I'm not Cameron. Yes, there. I do work fine on DCC. Are <laughs> <laughs> well, you? Are you uh, I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about the Curious Girl wagon. Yeah, well, they've got case. a yes. fitted tail light as well, battery. I believe. Yeah, but it uses a watch battery, which is a bit of a nightmare to fit. But once you do get it, in, it works alright. I've actually got the uh, DCC Concepts uh, one-day tail lights. You know the ones that come with the. Oh yeah, yeah. Like a little adapter. So I've got, them oh, I've got Alan to do me some lights before he, with the Springside lamps. He does a nice job on those. Oh yeah, I gave him the rest of my Model U ones as well. Um, yeah. Hello, Tim. James Wareham has gone off the Christmas card list. What's James? <laughs> I can't, uh... Apparently, I look like I'm in my mid thirties. <laughs> it's, it's this, this is the problem. Scrapline, Tim. Good evening, mate. Timber. Good evening, James Wareham. Thank you for tuning in. Uh... Yeah, I wonder why. So the Acura scale didn't go for the pickups on the, <laughs> didn't go for the, <laughs> didn't go for the pickups then on the uh, wagons. Instead, went for the. Uh... <laughs> Just doing a bit of train spotting, boys. Yeah, um, I don't know. I think Acura scale didn't do the pickup option because obviously then you've got to work it out for DC and DTC. Oh. Where's he gone? Oh no, I'm here. The Rustin just oh, went into the back of the fanny. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's, I wonder why he went quiet. <laughs> uh, hi, Ron Scott of Railway. Yeah, Thank I you think. In. But um, I think having pickups would be a nightmare with wiring and stuff to get the tail lamp working on DC and DCC. So yeah. That's why it's just easier. But I'm going to convert mine to just run off pickups. But the, uh, I don't like using a battery. The dapper ones you you've got were they converted or did that have? A tail lamp already fitted that has that's a battery uh, i one, put I yeah i put a tail lamp on it but it's a battery one and when it ran out i just left it to die basically <laughs> <laughs> so i'm going to do the same with that with pickup everyone's just seeing me go silent now for a second while i turn around to see that <laughs> the rest of them's going to saying, check your trains uh, ollie back of the team coaches <laughs> someone in the back carriage has just been flattened <laughs> <laughs> where is the rustin actually it's nice there but no, I'm looking forward to Curious Girls Locos. The 37 looks really good. So they've I'll probably... Got, they've either just released or about to release the, um, those flat bed wagons as well, the coil ones. Oh, okay. That'd be nice. Uh, I've not... Uh, on, up well onwards saying about the train tech lamp and coach lights. Yeah, train tech coach lights look good because they only activate when when the, there's movement, don't they? So it saves your batteries. If you've got any technical question, guys, this is the perfect stream to ask because I know virtually uh, sweet sweet F all, but um, Eric's, <laughs> Eric's the man to talk to about uh, any... Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far, Any mate. technical te technical knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you running then? Because I've not, I've not been keeping up. I'm just You're whipping in the chat. The stream. Uh, at the moment, we have a pannier with Eric's sound chip fitted in it, but it's not got sound because it'll just uh, ruins everyone's ears. Just drowns everyone out. After about 30 seconds. 
Then we have the 108 with the dash, uh, the desk, sorry, desk lights fitted by Alan. Uh, oh, yeah, light, yeah. Uh, carriage lights, directional lights, all of the fun stuff, and some stay alive as well, just to stop that light flicker. Nice. I see Cameron's asking if you can get two trains on the same loop. You can put as many as you want on the same loop with DTC as long yeah, as you can control them. Yeah, there's two you can control them. running at the moment on the, on the loop that Pania's on at the moment on the outside. That's what the Rustin's on as well. Ross, are you going to explain your background and give your side to the story? What story? Do you mean all the stuff yesterday? I don't even know if it's worth delving into that deep pit of... Uh... I don't think people really want to know about that, do they? <laughs> Who knows that no will know? <laughs> Ollie, which loco is Eric? He hasn't actually got any of mine anymore. I've got your He's just got though. my I've wagons. Got, yeah, I was going to say, I've got your... If that's not on speed 100, you've let me down. I'm sorry, Cosmo. <laughs> I've actually got 156 in um, in your favourite livery down here somewhere, in one of the boxes. My favourite? No, uh, Cosmo's favourite. Oh. No livery wise. <laughs> Regional Railways. I wish I'd start hashtag, well, it's, hashtag it's, it's, where's the railway to uh, David. <laughs> to be fair, Dave's, Dave's uh, favourite livery changes every couple of months, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Timber, they're not crashing, they're shunting. <laughs> Mac Honeboard, new name as well. Uh... Cameron, the LT Pannier is, uh, well, part of it is running on the stream because it's in a zoo in Ollie's Pannier. <laughs> um, my LT Pannier is up, up there behind me in millions of pieces because I'm table. still not bothered fitting the new Dakota. Get that 50 out. There's a 50. Right behind me, actually. Well, uh, yeah, I, I can switch some trains up. It's just a little bit more effort, obviously, to uh, bring one out. Of Ross, I don't, I don't. Whether they were trespassing, I don't know. I don't think they were. And uh, no, I didn't travel back in time to dob her in. So he says. <laughs> yeah, so he says. As I put on Twitter, um, I've, I've still not made made the part of the next Doctor Who character, so. Anyhow, it's, says, it's as often as his layouts, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> AGR says regional rejects. Got to be careful you sound here, it's evidence. <laughs> <laughs> um, Archie's. Oh, no, we're not we're good. I'm going to bring the uh, DMU in and then we'll get the 50 out. Uh, Archie's train says, Ollie, how did you get into trains? Long story short, at about age of seven or eight, my granddad took me to Beck and Scott Model Village, if you guys know where that is. Um, never been there. You've never been there? It's only down the road. No. Is it really? Well, Beck and Scott, is it? It's uh, Beaconsfield. Cotsmoor's due a track lane video. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Dave. Where are they? He's got to have one uploading at the minute, surely. <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes on his stolen fish baits. Come on, Dave, you know you want to do it. Feature length <laughs> film. <laughs> yeah. um, got to have space to lay track. Yeah, of course, Mom, what, what, time, what time span are we looking for? for? We've got 50, 64 in as well. Thank you very much to all who've tuned in. Don't forget, uh, to the members, I am giving out uh, some train spotters tonight on stream. I'm giving away this pack of train spotters uh, to one of the channel members. And I've also got some. <laughs> Trackside signs. What was that? You need to place them. Place them on the railway. I've already so got another. I've already got another set of them. I didn't realise, but I bought some off Ant, so I'm going to give this pack away. And I've also got a. Uh... Oh, hello, Mel. Yeah, it's the snitches. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, time and where transport. You might be able to see it behind me somewhere if you look up the top. Quite There's three coaches <laughs> up there. <laughs> Cosmo says how to dub someone in by Eric French. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, the one eight, the one eight, I do need to crack on with it. It's three of the body shells fit on the chassis now, but um, I basically just I've not painted anything for ages. I just can't be bothered at the minute. So that's the problem. Right, I'm just gonna turn my oh. uh, face cam off because I'm gonna go for a walk and sort these locos out, get the fifty on. Uh, so you just keep talking and I'll, I'll come back and listen in a in a second. Sure, yeah, cool. Don't want to be able to see you do that, sure. <laughs> That'd be shocking content, wouldn't it? We see you put a local on the track. How's your tango though? Is it alright, yeah? 
<laughs> My 10 year old Pac-Man 108 DMU needs 8 pin DCC decoders. You get what you pay for with that though, just remember. Well, it depends how far you're going with uh, digital stuff. Who else has been chatting then? Proper name for a stay alive should be uninterruptible power supply. Fair enough. I suppose it kind of is. Uh, at what O gauge? Are you talking about above me? If so, that layout is O gauge, yeah. It's just a little seven foot shelf layout. Uh, the, the tube train up on the shelf above is O gauge as well, which is pretty cool. But, um, I don't, I don't really touch it, so there's not much point me bothering doing a video about it. Uh, Josh, will you be having the 180, which was at the old common open day when they had it in special livery? Um, I have thought about this actually, and I would quite like to do it because I was one of the people that unveiled it. I was uh, standing at the door when it all rocked up, same as uh, the old common power car. So it would be cool, but it's getting the livery, it's getting the livery done and a transfer that would be an honour. What do you want to see, Fred? Hello, John. John JMC. You DM me about the 168 on Instagram. I'll have to have a, have a look. I'll have to have a look. It's a uh, mint in box, to be fair. Oh, nice. I've got four of them, though, so it's obviously too many. What is Ollie doing, honestly? He's only putting a 50 on the track. Oh, Tim's on about the giveaway. Is the giveaway O gauge? No, I think they're double O Backman uh, train spotter figures. Sorry, it's me uh, thinking about myself too much. Fred, what O gauge stuff do you want to see? There's not really much. It's just a little seven foot shelf layout, sort of a diorama. Uh, and up there, there's just I've got an LT pannier tank, as you might expect, and uh, a blue class O eight, and then just a couple wagons. There's not really much to show you, to be honest. Did Grand Central get the XGWR 180s? I don't think they did. No, Grand Central always had their 180s. But they were serviced some up, somewhere else up north. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. It starts with a C. I can't remember. But um, the First Great Western slash GWR 180s now gone to East Midlands trains. Somerset Andy, what DMU is it? It depends. Some of you needed the Koga in each end, yeah. Mr. Penny Hill Junction, they are Batman scene craft. That's how they look. Uh, I was having a look to see what the best option was, and to be fair, pretty much everything else just looked a bit cheap and nasty. I couldn't find anything with a decent sort of pattern for the bricks. Uh, and. The Batman ones were unfortunately discontinued, but TMC ha handily happened to have some in stock. So I just went for those. It, but at the grand old price of just under £100 for some retaining walls, it's a bit ridiculous. Especially when you've got to then go out with the Dremel and hack half of them away to get your top level to sink in. Yeah, Tim, <laughs> while he's even getting everyone to do his live streams, spot on. Look at him, he's just left me to it. <laughs> the trespass incident was pathetic. She blocked me from her channel for exposing the truth and sticking up for Eric and Ollie. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, everyone can make their own mind up about that, can't they? If you were. Uh, Want to see the drama? Just look on my Twitter. It pretty much explains it all. <laughs> no, Eric is not being paid for this. All he's tight. I have you know, I have plenty of money in my bank account. Thank you. <laughs> oh, here he is. <laughs> uh, yes, mate. They are resin, which is why I have used um, five mil plywood behind them. Um, so I'm basically making a frame for them to sit against because I don't want them to take any of the strength because obviously there isn't really any strength. They're just really brittle. 
Right, who asked for the 50? Because I'm going to just fire it up quickly. Just for the for the sake of it. You finally got that going, have you? Sorry, we don't want that now. Oh, fair enough. Was that last last week? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Quartz I'm too busy playing your OnlyFans. It's far too expensive for me. <laughs> Ollie, didn't you get a back one 108 recently? Yeah, that's what was going around earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. So someone said, Andy, I think it was, was saying about having to have a decoder in each end. You had to do the same thing. Yeah, you? decode decoder in each end programmed to obviously the same address. Yeah, it was a lot of work. Exactly, Ron. It is a long way to the 7 to put the 50 on the track. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie's too, too busy on OnlyFans. <laughs> No, it's Cotters, no, no, it's Cottesmore's only fans that I'm too busy on. That's the problem. How many have we got then, anyway? Huh? 61 people in the chat, by the looks of it. I've got 67 on mine, but probably one. What else is going on then? The people trying to promote their own giveaways because they're better than yours apparently. <laughs> it's all good fun. <laughs> evening John, thank you for tuning in. Galgum Hall, evening Paul, thank you for tuning in. Oh hello Paul. Class 158 production. Paul's too busy playing with his hunter. <laughs> Does look very good by the way. Very, very good work. Yeah, very Tim good work. Tim's done a really good job on that. All involved. Look at this then. A nice little 50 on the screen. I'm going to turn that off because I literally cannot hear a word you're saying. <laughs> 70 I don't know why YouTube's so behind. Oh, wow. 70... Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Um, right, so I did mention <laughs> the, theme <of> today, <laughs> the theme of this week's show is uh, train spotting and how much we love doing it. Um, so if all the members can if any members are in here at the moment just put a comment and i'll write you all down and then we'll do a spin the wheel on my phone uh we all have a bit of train spotting don't we oh <laughs> oh have you broken it yet then mr galgon hall what are you doing ollie Huh? What are you doing? Fixing things. <laughs> As always. Look at that little rust then. That's so funny. It's so tiny, isn't it? <laughs> it just looks ridiculous. What does a rust in even pull like on a prototypical... Tim, if you're a member, you have know. a WR next to your name. So I'll just start writing these down now. I'll get, let me get a spin the wheel up. We do things professionally here. Crossways Point Junction, Bernie. Good evening. Dave, how is your? Um... Sorry, mate. Just wondered how Dave was getting on with his new shed, Mr. Cotsmore. I'm seeing stuff turn up for it, so it must be going well. Charlie McG I, There's a lot of new names in here tonight, so thank you. I think Eric. Eric, I think you've got a whole new, uh, a whole new crowd to uh, Mordor Road. Poor guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Richard, 73 tube stock. Oh, God. What, the one that's mine or the one that I was supposed to paint about six months ago? My one is... is there. Oh, you can't see it because of the background. Put it in front of my face at work. Sure, will get an idea. Right, let's find a spin the wheel out here. Um, the one I was supposed to paint for someone, which uh, it is actually slowly progressing there's three body shells behind me that are in primer uh, after trying it takes so long to get the paint off it's ridiculous so it's getting there slowly uh, i do uh, need to pull my finger out time with transport if you uh look away it says subscribe to the left of it there'll be a little join thing and then you can uh, go through it from there although i'm not sure if you can during this stream now because i cancelled the first one due to a technical technical hiccup and the rust and speeding up again how can i speed match those two that's pretty cool. So John, John said he used to use one in the factory where they made the rust and take the parts around the factory. 
That would be. That would, imagine working in a little warehouse or something. You just whip, <laughs> whip around in one that little thing going around. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Henry says, I remember when these streams were only 12 people, now look at it thriving, well done. He's done all right for himself, hasn't he? Who said that? Henry Jen, thank you very much, mate. I reckon I, you know when you just see a name, you're like, I've seen that name for, like, it's the same as Norman and a couple of others. I, maybe, I don't know, mate. Icklebean, good evening. UFO, good evening. Is it glitching? Timbersurf's asking, is the giveaway only for channel members? I'm doing these for the channel members, and then I'm doing another one for non-channel members. Obviously, oh, that's not, cool, as, not as uh, exciting. And someone's also asking, how do we become members? Um, let me try and find a, a link. This is where everything goes wrong now. I touched something. It, uh... It's good to hear there's some progress uh, with Mr. Cotmore's, Cotsmore even, his shed. Trench full of water. God, we can't get our words out tonight, can we? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Everyone's here to see me. <laughs> As if. <laughs> Are you behind on the chat now? Because I feel like I'm reading comments like further down than. Uh... No, I'm just catching up. Fred Rouse has got a Rustin 48 DS near him. Apparently. A real one or, or, or a model one next to him? Mr. Timber, so if you don't have to pay all your money, you only join if you want to. But obviously, you can get exclusive stuff. He's going to do giveaways and things. All stuff in the uh, pipeline. Oh yeah, we're working on a couple of bits, aren't we? Potentially. But um, we won't. Uh... March West Junction says hello. So I bear me, guys. I'm just logging into so I can actually talk in my own chat. Would you believe it? Right. So anyone who <laughs> wants to become a member, there's there's the link. Fred Rouse has got a real one on the railway a couple miles away. Go and uh, stand at trackside towards it and get some get some photos. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> stand behind the fence. <laughs> okay, welcome, Hall. Thank you very much. Uh, let me just switch the view actually, so you can see. I have it what I had originally had it uh, set to. Oh yeah, you get all the emotes as well that Gareth's just put in there, and I'm gonna switch them up actually. I want a tree one like uh, Tim does. Maybe one of Eric's face as well for when he's in the stream. <laughs> Drop a thumbs up if you want me to change like one of the emotes. Like on the WhatsApp. <laughs> if you want me to one of our one WhatsApp emotes. stickers would be good. But I'm just going to move the camera along to this side so uh, you can um, keep it. SJ Carter, good evening, mate. Thanks for tuning in. I'm a bit jealous of uh, how well your back scene works there. I'm not going to lie. I think you should move the camera around a bit so you can see more of the train. John, I've not really um, done anything on my layout the last couple of days. I've just been sort of chilling out. But um, my new station is coming on. I've got all Can the retaining walls in now. I need to cut it down. Just making the platforms. What? I've just moved the camera. Oh, you're probably a bit behind. Ah, he's moving the camera. Yeah, but definitely put it where you had it earlier on, when uh, before you started the stream. A nice little gear. That's good with the signal. This is the view of people who are uh, uh, sleeping on the hillside to get some, get them angles. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Matty P, for the happy birthday. Appreciate it. James, uh, my twenty, my five-inch one is just downstairs, hiding away, since it's been winter and lockdown. I haven't really had any motivation to be honest, but I did get some uh, resin parts from a, a guy that does reality and miniature, I think it is. He makes five inch gauge stuff that's 3D printed. So I've got a few bits to do on it, and uh, yeah, I do need to get the line all sorted, but I'm gonna get that from Precision Labels, I think, by the looks of it. Those who are wondering as well, that signal uh, does work off the uh, Z21 app, as you'll see there. Have you got your little track plan set up? Yeah, I've got it on there, I'll show it to the camera. Oh. Yeah, John, he definitely needs a different type of signal. You've got to be able to signal both, both uh, 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 lines. Blah, both blah, lines, blah, blah. boring, boring, boring. Rivet counters everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Eric said it, not me, Dave. Hey, show me later. All right, <laughs> it's not the time and the place. Um, Gareth says, were they easy to set up? No, they weren't too bad. Uh, 
I, use, oh, I, don't, I can't remember if it's the SC3 or the SC3 from Train Tech. Plug that underneath the baseboard, whack the two uh, dapo signals in, and then press the button and it uh, sticks them onto the Z21 app. Uh, jo James Aston, good evening, mate. Thank you for tuning in. John, what was wrong with your eye? Good to hear it's fine, but I didn't know there was anything wrong with it. And uh, yeah, as for, it's Jamie, isn't it? Jamie Fowler, is it? And his dad, their 37 is looking really good, the five inch one. That's going to be great to see. Oh, Jamie I was Fliegate. saying to him yesterday, yeah, I was I was talking to him yesterday. I said, uh, when he gets it finished, we'll have to try and get it down to Brent's for a little run oh, around. Definitely. Seems uh, like a really nice guy, actually, as well. He's, he's really helpful with stuff. Yeah, so. he's, uh, he's, he does the um, high intensity light. Uh, yeah, that's that's what he sent me. Yeah. He sent me for the 20, yeah, so I can get my lights sorted. Um, Mel says, Hun, you can't be next to the train track. Gonna get you. Well, Eric's the one next to it at the moment. Malcolm Bowen's just subscribed. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Sorry, I'll move. I'll move. <laughs> Justice for Eric. I've moved away from the train track. Uh, beep, beep. Thank you very much, Tim. <laughs> Tim says, uh, cracking view. It's quite nice, actually, like behind the trees. I wanted to just try and blend, especially with that scene, the, um, the back scene as well now. I'm really, really pleased with that. Yeah, the colours are pretty spot on with the back scene and your shrubbery and stuff as well, so it works quite well. <laughs> Dave says the 50's been running far too long, it's not prototypical unless it's on fire or in a shed. <laughs> <laughs> Typical generator failure, that's what they... Oh, that's with, just gone through a red signal, so pretend we didn't see that, put it down anyway. Um, we'll go for a bit of a nicer camera angle, shall we? See that picture there, where you've taken that, that looks track side as well, but I'm not going to... Uh, yeah, we're all about the trackside photos today. Where is that? Uh, Josh asked about the 128. I will get the 128 running in a second. I've got it here. Oh, that's bad news, uh, John, with the eyeball. Glad it's all right, though. I know you would have seen in the uh, one of the videos, Josh, uh, Alan's put two speakers in it, and it, it's insanely loud. Waits for Ollie to be swatted in front. <laughs> Call the YouTube police. <laughs> Uh, Riley, aka Icklebean. No, I don't think they were, but someone has obviously. I think it, I think it's more likely to be from the camera angle because if you look on some of their previous videos, there's been a couple comments asking if they were trespassing. So it's exactly what I was sort of thinking was the problem is that someone yeah. has probably gone on their YouTube, seen the camera angle, and thought they're trespassing. So I'm going to phone them. Phone and, up and just to summarise uh, after that, just uh, to leave that subject. Uh, behind us me and Eric just saw it we saw it we went into Chris's stream and someone mentioned it we saw it and just found it funny that's as far that's as far as it went with it and then yeah before you know but, but yeah basically that it, it all happened didn't it and then the police thing all happened everything you was at work while it happened and I don't watch their channel anyway I'm not afraid to say it I'm thinking <laughs> monkeys so you happened to send me it after it all happened because you found it funny I found it funny as well and then I just posted a little video on Twitter saying just because uh, last week there was a thing with some guy taking photos of cars on, on a railway crossing. And um, it was the same sort of thing where it's not about what they're doing at the time. They might have got away of it and uh, not been hit by a train, obviously, but someone else might get the wrong idea. That's all I was really saying. And I didn't name their names. I didn't do anything like that. Um, and then because I said all that on Twitter, apparently that's evidence that it was me that dobbed them in. Well, yeah, you're allowed, you're allowed opinions. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I was just I was just giving an opinion on something I saw on the internet. That was all. And uh, right, I, yeah. I just love that we were I love that we were commenting on something on the on Facebook and they was print screening it, thinking it was evidence that it was us, like we'd plotted it or something. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's all just a bit silly, isn't it? Um, I've right, got a couple of questions here. Let's nip through them quickly. Uh, MCD Studios, another new name. Thank you. We've got eighty in at the moment. Thank you, everybody who's tuned in. 80, wow. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you are in the I don't know if you can <laughs> Get past um, 10. Someone asked what the tree's made from. Uh, these are seafoam trees that I've just got some WWS layering spray and uh, sprinkled some scatter, which I actually found in uh, Ant's store. And turns out to be some of the best scatter <laughs> I've ever used. And uh, yeah, the trees have come out really nicely, actually. I'm really pleased with them. James says, Eric, all those trackside... Oh, by the way, Tian, I, I just... 
<laughs> live life on the edge. Hmm. But yeah, hi, hi Tian, I got your message just before we went live. Thanks for the happy birthday. Sorry I didn't reply. <laughs> right, if all members, if all members who want a chance to win these um, train spotters could just drop a message in the chat now and I'll write you all down on the wheel. Type you down. Yeah, John, I agree about the cars on the double crossing, mate. It's the same sort of thing. That was ridiculous when I seen that. I could silly. not believe someone had even attempted to, to do that. Yeah, the, le the level crossing photo shoot was just ridiculous. He did it twice, if not more, that we don't know about. And people are trying to justify that like it's okay. Yeah. I can't, I can't keep up with this chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Gwyn here, <laughs> another new name, says, Hi, all thinking of making a network ratio DBS, DBSO. No, we're real DBSO. Yeah, yeah, they've got different, slightly different front end to the back one. Um, he says, is there any the good conversion kits? That sounds like a... That sounds like the, uh, a job for... Yeah, I don't you, know if you've seen various it. multiple units on Twitter or Instagram. A guy called Danny. Him nice. or someone like uh, Network Southeast Latchmere. They're really good at all that sort of stuff. Nice try, David. That's not how it works, unfortunately. <laughs> Can't just put WI in brackets. <laughs> Right, we've got Fred's Rails, Thomas Lewis, Pete, got you in there. Uh, Gareth, got you in there. Um, I don't know if uh, Island Phoenix wants to enter this because he does um, O Gauge. The Growler, I don't know if I've said hello to you, so apologies if I've missed it. MCD Studios. Uh, as much as I'd love to fly to New Zealand for a uh, model engineering open day, I'm not sure it's See realistically going to happen. It would be cool though, and I uh, hope you have a nice time. <laughs> We're not being allowed to really leave the house at the minute, let alone fly to New Zealand. <laughs> Melissa, I'll see you later. See, I'm Thanks not putting you in for the prize because if you win it, I, I don't want to know what the uh, I don't want to know I don't want to know what people would say if uh, you won any of the prizes. Don't forget, we have got the Flying Scotsman giveaway as well. I've got a uh, I've got a Ollie here. Oh yeah, I, I need you to paint the arms on that so I look less like a bodybuilder, and then I can send that off to uh, Chris. To well, good old Ollie here. He's, I was like, send me a photo of what it's actually supposed to look like. He sends me a picture of him in short sleeve shirts. Yeah, and then I said, shirt, sorry. <laughs> I'll stick into my hat. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this one's hey. for the members, and then I'm just going to go grab the trackside signs for the people who aren't. Me aren't no, what's, the, what's the word for non member? They don't sound as nice. Subscribe, uh, follow viewers? I don't know. Yeah, just viewers, I guess. Everyone wants to be entered. Yeah, John, he's got the old bodybuilder look going on there. <laughs> you haven't done a bad job painting it, actually. That. Huh? You haven't done a bad job painting it, actually. It's quite hard, actually. I'm so, um, it's very hard to do like the glasses and stuff, because it's always just going to look a bit too much. But, I mean, it's better than nothing, but it just gives you sort of an idea of what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. <laughs> I've still got a couple of more mini-me's as well, if anyone does want one. Um, I posted a load out, but I, po I realised I posted it in one of the, um, you know, the, the uh, high priority post boxes for the uh, COVID tests. I put, I accidentally put them in one of them, so <laughs> everyone got them the next day. I posted them one evening, and everyone got them in the morning. They've all been up someone's nose on. <laughs> <laughs> There's in a lab somewhere. They just open up all these minutes. How can you see your layout if it's underground? Thomas had a company ah. do it for me. Be surprised, most of it is overground. Eric is showing Ollie work hard and you could look like this with his pumped up arms. Almost <laughs> <laughs> right, Lewis is asking how let me, you. Sorry, I'm just going to go grab these tracks I signed a bit so you can carry on doing whatever. Oh, you yeah, want. go on then, yeah. That's Thomas Lewis is asking how how uh, 3D printed Ollie was done. West Hill Wagon Works drew him up or something, so quite a nice little job on them. They're actually doing some 3D printed parts now, which is quite nice. Ollie's uh, 
let me try a couple little bits like point heaters and little signal post telephones. Some nice modern litter bins and stuff. So yeah, uh, definitely worth checking Western Wagon Works out. Obviously they're the ones that are doing the hunk up bins as well, which are really popular at the minute. Hi Chris, Chris Hales, Hello, Heritage Railway, hello, how are you doing? I'm not sure what Ollie's doing at the minute, I wasn't paying attention. He's off gallivanting somewhere. Alfie wants to win the trackside signs. And he's back. <laughs> Apparently you've been on steroids. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I wouldn't be allowed to work on the railway if I had been. <laughs> right, so yeah, I've got the five people for the five members who are in at the moment. Uh, sorry to any of the other members that, well, I know a few of them watched this on catch up, but obviously they're not here, so. So I've got Fred Rails, Thomas Lewis, Pete, Gareth and Tim. Um, and then for the non-members, we're gonna. Um, I either do it in one or two. Let me know what you guys think. I've got two poster packs, and I've also got uh, two physical pre-made signs as well for double O gauge. Add on steam railways is telling you off for putting the wrong coaches with your pannier tank. Who I is? think rule one applies here, doesn't it? Who, who is? Add on steam railways. Oh, I'm sorry to. Uh, I'm sorry to have upset you. Oh well. The chat's going too fast, mate. I literally walked away for. Did oh. you keep bugging off? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harry, yeah, you know, thank you for yeah, tuning in. I've got the best trackside sign. <laughs> well, hey, <laughs> okay, yeah. we like that one. Yeah, I was just saying earlier about Western Wagon Works doing all their 3D printed stuff now. I can't. Uh, where's the? Oh, I've got an entire drawer of Western. Should we give away a Western Wagon Works item tonight as well? Maybe we should. Why not? Maybe we should. Right, I'm going to do this one first for the members. So we've got the five names on here. And then I guess I just press the spin button. I'm going to show you the camera. I, re I reckon you're better off because the live, when the live stream ends, it ends the live chat. You're probably better off getting everyone that wants to enter your comps, doing it in the proper comments below. Oh, okay, I'll, okay, I'll do, I'll do the member, the non-member ones in the comments below, but I'll do because there's only, there's only a few people on this one. Yeah, members will be easier, yeah. yeah. So after this stream, if you want to win this, what I'll do is I will... What's, I don't know whether to do it in two cents or one, but leave a comment after this stream. Anyone can enter that. Just leave a comment and one will be picked at random and then I'll drop you a message. Sounds fair enough. Yeah, otherwise I could be here for the next 20 minutes typing in 80, 80 names. Right. <laughs> do a five inch gauge loco giveaway. Right, so this is for <laughs> the train spotters, and I'm going to press it. Oh, is this the members Tim. giveaway, is it? Tim Island Phoenix, there we go. That wasn't a very long spin, but well done, Tim. They're on the way to you. So Tim's won the train spotters, is he? Thanks to, yeah, thanks to Amazon. Um, I've just received, oh, I've just got a PayPal donation, but I can't see what it is. Um, I've got a lot of envelopes off Amazon now, so I can post out all these prizes nice and quickly. So Tim, that's coming to you. Well done, Tim. Well, that's payback for the nice little tree you did, isn't it? I love how Tim comes in and goes, did I win? Like, he's he's sitting watching the chat and he got, did I win? <laughs> so Tim, that's going to be coming to you, mate. If you could just uh, message me your address. Tim JD, it can't be a fix because I literally did it. I couldn't have done it any other way other than uh... the same. You know why they say fix is because every time anyone else does a competition, I go through the chat saying it's a fix. <laughs> <laughs> it's payback, isn't it? Right, Island Phoenix. If you're convinced it's a fix, I'm happy to redraw it. If that's what you want, <laughs> you just let me know and I'll, I will redraw it. Um, so yeah, after this stream, if you guys. Uh... If you guys leave a comment, I'll either do... What should I do? Should I do these as two separate? I might as well do them as two separates. I'll pick one person for the two signs here. 
I'll pick one person for these two here. So that'd be one prize, and then that'd be a, another prize as well. That'd be good. Can I now? Or is that, yeah, is you that can. cheating? You can. <laughs> Although I have given you a free sign anyway, so. Uh... <laughs> I was only joking. I've got them. Uh... I've got Thomas. Pallets to use up as well, haven't I? All these. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got. I could, actually, I could give away some of them as well. Um, did it come in? Uh, who said that? Uh, Thomas, did it come in something like this? Because you could buy fifty of these for like a five on Amazon. So get them. Order some stamps, and uh, it's so much easier to post off and post off. Uh, I think uh, Scrapline Tim is uh, a bit upset because he thought he got all excited. Someone said, Andy, it's an app called Spin the Wheel. If you've got in the App Store, you can just find one. You just put everyone's names in. <laughs> Almost his comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, oh. it's just it obviously, it's obviously saves on posters if all the items are small as well. So, yeah, Tim, send me an email with uh, your postal address. And then I'll do those other two after the... It's a shame there's not a way to, like, pick a... Uh, let me see if I can add a spin the wheel. Where's Eric's giveaway? Apparently, didn't I? Didn't I? Don't remember telling everyone I was having a giveaway. I'm too tight. <laughs> I'm giving away Harefield Road as well, guys. So put a comment if you like Harefield Road. Yeah, comment if you want this layout. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, guys. There is 74 people, and if you are enjoying, do hit the subscribe and hit the like button as well. And a lima pannier tank in a box under the table, give it an oil job and it ran fine. They go forever, don't they? All the lima stuff is bulletproof. Charlie McGuire, another new name. Uh, Tim Basur says, just bought some new softbox lights, fully adjustable LEDs. Yeah, I was thinking about getting softbox lights, but I've got a, uh, an adjustable ring light here, which kind of does the job for when I'm. Uh, Jamie's just put a happy 40th birthday on my Twitter. <laughs> I'm definitely unsubscribing to Penny Hill Junction. <laughs> Cottesmore says, if, if it's the layout, I'll pass, but I'll take the S-Stock to eBay, though. <laughs> no, Dave can't have anything off me anymore, because he'll just sell it. <laughs> <laughs> 50 likes. Thank you very much, guys. If we can get that to 55, 60, um, what should I do? Should I add another? Timber, sir, if you missed... You missed the members giveaway, but there's a non-members one if you comment on the video after the live stream. James says, any chance for a giveaway of a genuine blade of grass from his layout? Now that I can sort out. <laughs> you, I, you, listen, guys, you do not have any idea how much static grass this guy has. It's oh. ridiculous. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's not wrong. It's not wrong. I could give you static grass in almost any length and colour you want. <laughs> I've actually got some more on the way. I've got um, Martin from WWS is sending me his new two mil uh, muddy grass as well. So <laughs> even more. Yeah. I was asking where to get UK locos in the USA. I think your best bet is probably to uh, find a friendly model shop over here who's willing to post them. Like AGR. I don't know. Just thinking. The, of, the, the trouble is, is uh, I don't know how it works. With random shop off the top of my head. AGR. Or something. Things getting damaged and stuff. It's a bit of a risk, isn't it? Oh, what's that for posting stuff. internationally? Yeah, I don't know how good it is. Uh, thank you, Andy, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, what's the prize? Do the comment giveaway. Yes, yeah, so after the stream's finished, just go in the comments and just say, I don't know, just say prize or something. Say, say hashtag underground Eric. See if we can get it <laughs> trending on YouTube. And then uh, we'll pick one at random. We'll pick two at random for the two prizes. I've not seen this tweet that someone keeps mentioning. Oh yeah, I need to check my PayPal as well because I've got a PayPal notification. So sorry if someone's done that in here and I've missed it. I might move the old laptop. James says, Ollie, when's the two hour video on static grass? I'll leave that to uh, uh, Cottesmore, I think. I think we'll leave, we'll leave the reviews to him. Oh, Steve, Steve, <laughs> Stephen. To join the membership, it's not through PayPal, mate. I'll, re I'll, re I'll refund you your 99 B. You have to do it through YouTube, otherwise it doesn't. I can't see it on the uh, on the scene. <laughs> Why is postage through eBay to North America so expensive for small parts? It's got to go a long old way. And Ed Sutherland says, "You can put a hashtag trackside if you want." Um. 
To be fair, when I ordered my um, Digitrack Zypher, that come from America, and it, it didn't take too long as either. Beth, if you want to join the competition now, you can just go down below and comment in the anyway. Comments, yeah, you don't be... have to wait till the stream's over. Just uh, minimize the live chat, and there'll be a, a comment box. Yeah, just comment below the video rather than in the live chat. David, you say it's too bright, but looking from that cam camera angle here, I wouldn't say that was too bright at all. Zesty WWS graph. You gonna get some actual trains running tonight, Ollie? I've, I've barely seen any. Mate, we've we've gone an hour, we've gone over the hour already, and we sat here <laughs> talking. A down, I want British locomotives, but American train stores have. I didn't think of that actually. I know some people in the UK like American stuff, so they get mm. it over here. But I wonder how popular his British stuff is over in America. Must be quite difficult. I don't know what your options are really, other than the hassle a model shop over here to try and uh, try and get you to send stuff, get them to send you stuff. So I mean. <clears throat> Everyone's hashtagging underground Eric. It's in 480p, that's why. Cause more, until I see one of your streams where the uh, cobalt point motor don't fall from underneath the uh, baseboard, then we'll discuss quality <laughs> of uh, video cameras. <laughs> Guys, comment comment below the vid below the video, not on the live chat if you want to be entered in the competition. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through the live chat again and uh, because after the vi after the live stream ends, you lose access to the live chat. I, and I'm not going to sit through an hour of, of live chat to find all the hashtag underground. It could be put underground only. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Kieran. Thank you for tuning uh, in, Kieran. Thanks, did I remember? Thanks, Tim, for tuning in and congratulations on winning the figures. I'll get them posted out as soon as I can. Cause I need to upgrade this PC. To be fair, it's uh, it doesn't like doing live streams. We should recreate Underground Ernie series with Eric. My granddad was called Ernie, funnily enough. Was he actually? Yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> well, let me just switch this camera angle to one more one more view, see? So, uh, before we... Um... The comment thing isn't loading for me. It should be just below the video, no? Uh, you apparently you can't comment under the video yet. So as you can see in shot there, guys. Go uh, on, Gareth. I'm into premium membership. Oh, Gareth! Thank you. Oh, your internet connection is unstable. That's not good. And you can't comment while we're streaming, Ollie. Can you? Uh, can you still hear me? Hello. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's fine, I can hear you. Oh, you didn't say anything after my second hello, so I was just like, oh, okay, well, that's, that's me gone then. Thank you very much, Gareth, for upgrading you get... to Water Road Premium. Um, unfortunately, it's not like OnlyFans where I can send out explicit things of myself, but uh, I do appreciate the... Uh, James Aston. As well. <laughs> what do we comment cops more scrappy for the giveaway? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a win saying just for that comment. <laughs> that was that was good actually. That was a very that was very good. <laughs> but guys, we comment after the stream, all right? And people are saying you can't comment now, but Bear Lane, thank you very much for becoming a member. That does now also entitle you to a free mini me. But if you want, I've already sent you one. So if you want another one, you can have me as twins. God, imagine two of me. This one's bad enough. Enough of that. You can always, um, yeah, people who have got places to be, you can always come back and comment in the morning, I suppose, can yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, to be fair, I was going to do it in the next cup. Bear oh, there we go. Come up on the thing. Thank you very much, Bear Lane. I really appreciate it. I've got to send, uh, I need to send Tim something underground related for him to weather up. Oh, what is it that I, see, that I seen that was on the... Oh, I've seen a, a video and it was of them lifting the uh, Waterloo City stock into, like, through the road into the depot. Yeah, it's the only way you can get them in there. Yeah, 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 on that big hatch on the... Um, on yeah, the, the little the little crane on the corner, that's yeah. not for lifting the trains out with. Huh? They have to bring a proper mobile crane in to Yeah, do they have them. to bring that big, that big yellow thing in. Yeah, that's but, called um, a crane, Ollie. 
when they when they uh, <laughs> yeah the big yellow crane no but you said the crane there is a crane thing on the corner for lowering materials down there yeah that's just for stores yeah. stuff and parts isn't it i would like to see how long that would last with a, a loco but there is one of the uh, old waterloo and city trains in the acton on the transport museum oh my god we still got 90 we still got 71 people in it really wow. <laughs> Um, right, let's just go through any. Let's go through a few questions quickly. Riley is asking about real track 143 sound files. Uh, Lego Man Biffo, I used to have a 143 with his sound, and it was really good. So I would recommend it. Right. So as I said, once the video, once the stream is over, not now, afterwards, but our hashtag Underground Eric, uh, one person will win these two, one person will win these two, and Eric, give me a word, and the first person to say in the chat wins a mini me right now. Gusset. What was it? Gusset. <laughs> I don't know how far behind they are, but I'll get an envelope ready. <laughs> Someone can have a little mini me. Eric, anyway, we're going to have to get you sorted out with one as well. So. Uh, with what? A, a mini you. Oh, a mini of actual me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It could right. be. First in. Oh, the whole thing's going to be gusset now. <laughs> oh, what have you done? It. Looks like Riley has won a uh, figure. Well done, Riley. You have won an Ollie. How do you feel? <laughs> right, Icklebean, if you uh, drop me a. Uh, oh, for God's sake, look what you've started. <laughs> uh, if you drop me a message on any of my social medias, we'll. Uh... <laughs> Dave! <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, Stephen Price, if you will let me know if you want um, another minifigure or I'll sort you out with something else because obviously you've bought them before but then um, you became a member anyway. Cameron, yes. Uh, I've got two of the EFE 9380 stocks on order uh, through AGL Model Store. And um, I've also been helping Lego Man Biffo with the new sound file that he's releasing for it. So have a, li have a look out for that when it gets released. It's got some of my stuff on it as well as obviously a lot of his. A couple of the recordings of my, my doing. I actually went and recorded something for it yesterday, to be honest, um, which was cool to get out. Oh, of what? Uh, oh, in London? Yeah, I got the, uh, the new Mind the Gap announcement, didn't I? Because he, he couldn't get one. Uh, and the, uh, the whistles and stuff are mine. Before, but great, so it's not so yeah, you sure. Another new name as well. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys are enjoying, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, Gareth says, didn't hear if someone answered, but anyone built a static grass, a grass applicator? I haven't built one. I can highly recommend uh, WWS. I've got one. I've got a homemade one here that Alan gave me a while ago, and how, I just couldn't get along with it. How did that about say? How did that turn out? <laughs> That's why I end up pinching yours. So, in my opinion, it's worth just buying one that's semi-decent. They do. They do a nice job anyway. So yeah. So um, we'll sort that out afterwards. Ickle beans won themselves a mini me. So I get an envelope for that. Poor Tian, I, yeah. I make her do all the writing and the labels because she's got super neat handwriting. So I'm going to go down there with her. <laughs> uh, what is the wagon called on the back of the Ruston? Which one? There's a, you've got a China clay wagon, uh, I believe a Wally exclusive uh, oil wagon and a GWR shunters wagon as well. Thomas, uh, sound decoders, Lego Man Biffo does ESU sound decoders, so they are all uh, lock sound. So it's an ESU lock sound decoder. But um, the new decoder, the new purchases you get off him now comes with a V5, which is the latest up to date one, which has got more features. And it's also got a lot more memory. So the sound quality is better. Uh, you might not notice it in a model, but the sound quality can be higher because it can fit more on. I suppose, yeah, the speaker, um, speaker quality is one thing, but if the, fi if the file, if the sound file isn't any good anyway, it doesn't matter yeah. what speaker you've got, what you've got on it. But you'll find for the price, you might you'll pay 120 pound ish for a lock sound V5 with a Lego Man Biffo file on. But if you look second hand for a, for a lock sound V4, they still sell for a lot of money. So by the time you pay the 20 odd pound it is to have it reblown, you might as well just go and buy a V5. What, what, is, yeah, I was about to say, what is the price difference between a V4 and a V5 at the moment? You can't really buy V4s anymore. It's a no, second hand. A second hand market. But people sell V4s still for silly money. I don't know how they get away with it. I'll, I would never spend probably more than 60, 60 to 70 pound on a V4. Yeah, Fred, the end one was a GWR Shunters wagon. 
What got you, Dave? Dave Stocks, I know the new name. Uh, what got you guys into model trains? I've wanted to know. Like I said before, uh, when I was younger, I went to Beckens, Beckens Scott Model Village in Beaconsfield. Uh, when my granddad went there a few times, and that's where uh, the love for it started, really. What about you, Eric? Hello, really, to be honest. I just uh, <laughs> always lived near the underground, so I uh, used to get it every day and just found it quite interesting. There's obviously a lot of history with it as well, which is something to. Yeah, it's, quite a, into. it's quite a rarity to see people doing the underground. It's not the most common. Uh... That's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing as well. Is I don't. Um, I'm not someone that's massively interested in a stand. Your standard sort of model railway layout. I only really model the underground because it's, it's niche. It's rare. It's it's quite fun having to build everything and uh, have something different. Because the amount of like, I'm not knocking it, but there's so many like BR blue layouts out there and things like that. That doesn't I'd say, really. I'd say interest as, a B, as a BR blue fifty goes past. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I've got pre I appreciate it. I, mean, I, I, I like, I like models and modelling, but it's not my sort of cup of tea, really. Yeah. I'm more like modifying stuff, putting lights into things, and doing all the digital side of stuff. I think it's quite interesting making stuff work, basically. Um, Gareth says, Ollie, do you have a camera to do a trip round the layout? I want to get one of the little Polaroid cubes. I see a lot of people using. Um, See, um, Richard Croft's just got one of them, you know, Roads and Rails. He's been doing a couple of little oh, videos. Oh, is that? That's what I thought I'd seen one recently somewhere. It might put it yeah. on Instagram or something. Yeah. They, do, they do come out quite nice. And I've seen it before where you can um, get some sort of app or program where you can put a skin of a cab over the really? video. <laughs> right. So it actually looks like you're looking out of a cab window. I think Graham so from Lakeside, he did it where he had the carriage window on the side and he had it on its side. Uh, so it yeah. went round, which looked pretty cool. That's a nice idea. Uh, Hopefully he's... Uh, he gets back to yeah. his old ways at some point soon. Cause I've, I've spoken to him. He's, having wife, a few his wife issues. he's back home now. So hopefully uh, road to recovery. That's good then, yeah. It'd be good to have him back on YouTube regularly. Scrapline says not enough scrap layouts out there. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you need to provide me some scrap to chuck on mine. Oh, yeah, actually, that's another thing I've got a load of. Is, uh, um, good with Scenics, all the scrap stuff they sell. I've got boxes of it. but yeah that's so, good just get so busy and distracted I'm not, I'm not as bad as eric but i start one thing and then do something else five minutes later <laughs> i was quite impressed with uh, goodwood scenic's little uh little products that you gave me to try actually oh, with the little washing things, machines and things yeah yeah little brilliant. things to fill the skip with and all that sort of stuff it's quite nice how are we doing tight? right it's coming up to quarter past eight so uh probably going to call it a day in a second um Dale, Dale Stock says, do they have smoke units in UK trains? You can fit them. But, uh, the new Dapol 59, if it ever comes out sometime this century, uh, is going to have a smoke unit, apparently. And the Dapol Black Label A4 has a smoke unit, but it's not very reliable. I've seen a lot of people having in, in, uh, problems with that. What's, uh, what's the next purchase for your layout then, Ollie? Well, as I said, I uh, mentioned before, it's going to be sound fitting the J15, which is with Alan at the moment. Oh, OK. He's got it now, has he? Yeah, he's got it now, and he's also putting a stair live in my 08, so... Uh... Yeah, it's worth doing. While it's apart. If, yeah. Uh... I sent him as well. I wish I'd got a stair live in your pannier, but once I gave, once I got the track clean around a couple of times, I haven't had an issue with it again, so... It's just, yeah. like, just a bit of dirty track. Um, it's not hard to chuck one in if you uh, decide down the road you want to put yeah, one in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, guys, if you have enjoyed and you want to see Eric back again, if you want Eric to return to another World of Wednesday, I'd love to. Now we know how to get this set up to work as well. Uh, it took a little <laughs> bit of time, but now we've got it. Um, now we've got it working. If you want Eric to come on again next week, Eric, you about next week for another show or? You know, if you uh, want to I don't. Today? I don't know actually. Well, he, he might be here, he might not. I don't uh, get my work roster till quite late, do I? So. Oh, of course, yeah. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, don't forget to check out Underground Eric on YouTube and leave a comment after this video if you want to win uh, some of the trackside sign stuff and uh, we'll get that sorted out by the end of tonight. Um, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Any last words, Eric? Uh, cheers to everyone for watching and uh, obviously hit the thumbs up, subscribe, all that rubbish everyone usually bores you with at the end of a video yeah if we get we're on 60 likes now then if we get over 70 then eric has to come back on how about that <laughs> <laughs> all right guys yeah, i'm sure i'm sure um, we'll be back mate yeah we'll see you all in a bit thank you very much for tuning in and uh stay safe
Stay safe on the railway. <laughs> <laughs> See you later.